All right, what's up? Welcome back. Today, we're on the Forerunner. We're gonna be doing the soft top I talk about. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is show you how to rip this thing off of here so you can put the soft top on. All right, so the first thing I do to get this top off, I open these windows on both sides. The rear little quarter, I guess the rear little window, but the one on the back. Um, so I open both of those. Let me go ahead and do that. Oh man, let me climb in this puppy. Oh shit. Alright, that one. Uh, come over here. Ah, that one. Alright. Okay. Alright. So now those two windows are open there. Um, then you want to go around the whole perimeter of the top. You want to take out all these bolts. Um, there's bolts all the way around, they run across the top there. I already took them all out. I'm just kind of showing you in reference of what they look like, where they are. I do believe over in this side somewhere, there are longer ones. And they do that because the bolt threads hit a switch that makes it so the rear window comes up and down um, only when the top's on. I'm not that for sure, or I'm not sure if that's how it is. But I think I've read that somewhere. All right, so you pull all those out. And they are uh, 12 millimeter. Yeah, yeah, so they're, oh, let me get this thing sorted. They are 12 millimeter. Mine were all 12 millimeter all the way around. Um, so yeah, then you yank off all these bolts. And then uh, I was able to pull this thing off once before by myself. It wasn't easy. Um, so I'm gonna do a time lapse of me yanking this thing off. There it is. That's how you take it off. So from there to there, it's off. All right, so for the soft top portion of it, or the soft top portion. Ah! Okay, as you see, the bolts that held the top of the, I guess the topper, I guess you can call it, on. Essentially what I'm doing, I am going to make out of some angle iron. It's aluminum, I think it's two inches wide. I'm gonna make some L brackets that go from here L shaped I guess and then I'm gonna take a uh, uh, a strip of that that's that longer strip you see across the top and I'm gonna essentially uh, how do I explain this the uh, here's the top here all right so first what I did I took the uh, width wise of the top and I measured you know from one side to the other then I cut a strip that long that's that longer piece and uh, if you look on the top, it's got a thicker portion of it here. I'm pretty sure in Jeeps there's like a like a slide that this slides into. I'm not 100% sure. I'm not really a Jeep person, you know. Um, and I'm going to pinch this portion of it against this uh, weather stripping and then against the metal strip. So I made these angle brackets and the bolt holes are, that I drilled are bigger than this so I can move it around. And then uh, with the angle bracket, it's going to be bolted to this long strip all the way across. And I'm going to push it down and it's going to kind of pinch the fabric, you know, against this. That was so that portion of it won't go anywhere. And then the rest of it, I'm just going to have it pulled over the back. Hopefully that works. Hopefully that makes sense. I'm going to kind of show you along the way. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. All right. So I got the angle brackets on. Here's essentially what they look like. And there's the flat stock across the top. Um, so what I'm doing, yeah, shit. I'm just drilling a hole through that one and that one. You know, it is, you know, extra large. Again, so I can just adjust everything. Um, and what's gonna happen, when you tighten these ones down all the way across, it's gonna pinch the weather, the, uh, the actual soft top portion between the rubber seal and this metal, you know, piece that I'm bolting down. And that's going to hold the front portion of it. And really, that's it for the front. I am going to bend these so they follow the body line right here. That way, so it doesn't look crazy. But, uh, again, this is the same width as the top. Therefore, it's probably going to stop down here somewhere. And the top will stop right there. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to get that finished up. And then I'll try to bolt it all together and, you know, show you what that portion of it looks like. And then we'll uh, figure out the straps in the back 
and then we should be pretty much done. All right, here it is, essentially the hard part. Um, so I took that flat piece of, ang of aluminum, I bent it to, you know, that shape, I guess. Um, and like I said, I'm just gonna pinch, um, lay this out. So I'm gonna pinch this portion of the top here in between the aluminum and the seal. And then I essentially just pick this whole thing up and flip it backwards and it's gonna cover all this up. And then I just tie it down to the back somewhere. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. And then I'll kind of show you where I'm at. All right, so there's the bolts and all that stuff that I kind of showed to you. Um, like I said, it's squished in between. I kind of, you know, I tightened it all down. It actually looks pretty good from the outside. It looks pretty level. Um, so for the rear straps, you know, I see it's kind of pulled tight over the rear roll bar. So for the straps, I just took a piece of angle iron, well, a piece of that uh, aluminum bar. I cut it in half, bolted it in, drilled a hole, drilled a hole for a clip, and then the strap for the actual top. Um, I did have to put some knots in it because this portion was, you know, way down here. So I tied some knots in it to shorten it up because um, it was just too long. Uh, realistically, I could probably tighten it some more. Um, let's see here. Does it look silly from the other side? It looks good. It looks good. I like it. So yeah, I went and drove it and we'll go for a ride real quick. Everything, it's, it's tight on the inside. Um, it, yeah, I mean, it was easy. It was a lot easier than you would think. It's just uh, a lot of these things, I might just take it all apart. Mark where each one of them goes. It's a freaking dump truck. All right, so I'll probably mark like, yo, this is number one, and then the one, and then two, and two, just so everything goes back together smoothly. Um, and you know, take them to a bench grinder and clean all that up. Same thing with these. Clean these up because they're, you know, they're uh, they're pretty sharp. Uh, but yeah, that's it, man. Yeah, it's good. It's good. It's real good. Um, I have no complaints. It was easy. It works decently. Um, yeah, so that's one step closer. So now that I got the top off, you can see. The reason I went that route is because now I can paint it. I don't know what color, either gray, like primer gray, or uh, like uh, sand, you know, like desert sand color. So that's what I'm going with. There it is. Looks good. Let me know what you think.